Hi everyone. In my previous video, I explained data types in Postgres SQL. If you have not watched the video, I highly encourage you to go watch that. Okay. But today we will be looking at what we call constraints in SQL or in Postgres SQL. So what are constraints? Constraints are specified rules or restrictions that you impose on a column in a table. So basically, you want to specify some restrictions to a particular column in a table. We are going to be looking at some examples of that and different types of constraints. Okay. So constraint determine if a data is valid for a particular column. Hence, they help us to prevent invalid data from entering into the database. Okay. They also help to maintain the reliability, accuracy, and integrity of the data that we store in our database. Okay. Also, take note that constraints can be defined during the time that we are creating a table or even after you have created your table. That is, you can use an alter st statement to also specify or to define a constraint. We are going to be looking at the different uh, common examples of constraints and examples. Okay. So the common examples of constraints are what we call not null constraint. We have the check constraint, unique constraint, primary key, foreign key, default and exclusion. Okay. Now, in my previous video, I have explained to you what primary key and foreign key are, right? You already have that. I'm going to put the link to those videos in the description below, okay? But today, we are going to be looking at not null constraint and check constraint. And then in another, in another video, we are going to be looking at unique, default, and exclusion constraint, okay? All right, let's get going. Let us open up our PG admin and let us better understand what null and check constraints are. Okay, I'll go to my PG admin. And the first thing I'm going to do right here in my previous video, I showed you how I created the, this database called student underscore test underscore one. Okay, so I'll open this up and I'll go to schemas. And as you can see in schemas right here, I have tables. And if I refresh this table right here, I've refreshed. It is only one table that I have here, which is student underscore table, which is what I have used uh, previously in previous video. Okay. But in this video, let us create another table and let us see what not null constraint is all about. Okay. Now, I'll double, I'll click, I'll right click on this table right here and then I'll go to query tool. Okay, now I will type this here right here. Now, what I want you to know, first of all, is what do we mean when we say not null constraints? A not null constraint helps us to ensure that a column cannot have a null value. What do we mean? What we mean right here is that if I create a table, in this case, I'm trying to create a table here. I say create table if not exist i showed it to you in my previous video okay and i'm creating this table called student underscore table underscore two okay now i'm creating a column student id i give it a data type integer which i explained to you in the previous video and then i'm putting a constraint on this student id column i'm saying this is not null i'm creating another column called f name that's first name i give it a data type of varchar that variable character right and i'm saying that the maximum length is 180 which i've shown you how to do that in my previous video i'm giving it a constraint of not null i have h this is the data type and i'm also giving it not null constraint same thing as email i'm giving it a not null constraint this one tuition paid i did not give it any constraint now again let me define what not null means again not null simply helps us to ensure that our column cannot have a null value that means that student id f name age email they cannot have a null value okay now let us first of all create this 
table right here so i will execute this okay you can see we have created a set create table successful let us refresh this place right if i refresh you can see i have this table right here now what about if i want to run a select statement right here we want to run a select statement from the select star from st student underscore table underscore two right now we are we have not inserted any value any data right any row so therefore we should not be seeing any data inside good we have run it as you can see we don't have any data right now okay now let us insert some data right here i will copy and paste i'll put that so i'm saying insert into student underscore table underscore two which is the table that we created i have student id which is this column f name age email tuition paid then these are the values that i want to impute remember that we already have this column to be not null not null not null not null right so if you look at this right now everything looks good right here i will highlight this and then i will run now it's it inserted successfully let us look at our data i will execute i will highlight select star from student underscore table underscore two you can see right here that we are able to get one row right here right very good this works perfectly but let's assume let's assume right here that look at this tuition paid there is no constraint right here we do not we do not have any not not null constraint because of that if i take out this thirty thousand and i put null right remember we said that not null will help to ensure that a column cannot have a null value right so in that case if i put null inside this column tuition paid let us see if it's going to work if we are going to if it's going to work you can see we inserted successfully if i run this select statement you can see that i have null here that means i'm able to insert null right here why is that because tuition paid column does not have a constraint it doesn't have a constraint it doesn't have a not null constraint right but what about let me put that thirty thousand back there but what about for this first name which has a constraint not null let us assume i take out john and i put null right there what happens if i try to insert this remember that this null is for this f name right and we said that it has a constraint not null what that means is that i cannot insert a null record inside i cannot insert a null value basically i cannot insert a null value inside if i try to do this there should be an error let us try that right now let us execute very good you can see the error right here it's a null value in column f name of relation student underscore table underscore two which is that table violate not null constraint why because we already put a constraint right here that not null that we don't want it to have any null value okay that is why we got that error because we because of this null we were not able to insert this record do you get that now so what about if i change this back let let me change it back to something let me put james if i run this you can see it ran successfully if i try to look at what are the records and then i would you see you can see right there guys this is the record i've been able to insert that you can see james right here i'm able to insert because now we have some value i hope you get that right now guys i hope that is so easy for you all right now let us quickly go into the 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 the, the next one which is check now what does the check do i'll put it right here check check constraints what does a check constraint do a check constraint helps to ensure that all the values in a column satisfy certain conditions i'm going to delete all of this and we are going to put uh, we're going to create another table okay let me put that right here okay 
Now, take note of what I said. It ensures that all values in a column satisfy a certain condition. What do we mean? Let's assume that for this particular table that we want to create, we call it student, student underscore table underscore three. We want to put a condition that the age that we are going to be entering inside this table or inside this age column should be greater than 28. That means it should not be greater than 28. You can see this check constraint. We have put this check constraint. So I have this column. I say it is an integer and I'm saying I'm putting a check constraint on this column. And that check should be that the age should be greater than 28. So that means if I try to insert any age that is less than 28, then I'm going to be having an error. That is what constraint does. It helps us to prevent an invalid data from getting into our database or from getting into our table. Okay. Now let us create this table. Right now you can see right here we have two tables right here. We don't have student underscore table underscore three. Right now let us run it. I like this and I will execute. Very good. It has run successfully. And then I will come right here. I will refresh. I will right click and refresh. Now you can see I have student table three. Okay. Now if I try to if I try to run a select statement right here, okay. If I run a select statement, I will like, I like this, execute. You can see we already have the table, right? But we don't have data right there yet. Now let us put some data inside, okay? I will do this, okay? Now, if you look at this, I'm having insert into student underscore table underscore three, right? These are the columns that I'm inserting to, and these are the values I'm inserting into, right? If I make this to be 31, remember that we said check age greater than 28. That means that the age we are entering should be greater than 28, right? Take note, we are saying that check age should be greater than 28, right? And right here we are putting 31, right? So if I insert this record, let me execute. You can see very good. It says that the insert worked. Now let us check select star statement. Very good. You can see right here, guys, the age is what? The age is 31. I hope you get that right now. But let us assume that the age right here is, let's say, let's say 25. Let's say 25. Let's see what happens. If I highlight this and then I insert the record, what happens? It's a new row for relation student underscore table underscore three. Violate check constraints. Student underscore table underscore three underscore age underscore check. That is because the PostgreSQL server created uh, this for us. Okay. But then what is actually happening right here is that because our check does not satisfy this condition. Okay. Age should be greater than 28. But we put what? 25. Therefore, we have an error. If I change this to 45, let's see what happens. It's going to run successfully. See, it runs successfully. And if I put, if I run the query right here, you see, we are able to insert right here. Can you see that right here, guys? I hope you all understand this right now. You can now see how not null constraint works and also how check constraints work. Okay. If you are new on this channel, guys, I highly encourage you to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we release any of our videos. And do not forget to comment or if you have any question or if there is anything you want us to, to explain any concept, please put that in the description below. And please don't forget to help us to share this video so that it can uh, spread and uh, more people can benefit from it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next class. Bye.